everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. Today is Punched Out Thursday to Die For and I'm using my heart die that you see right there. I'm also using an old Valentine's um, uh, kit that I have by Echo Park. It's yours truly and those are my hearts that I already died cut out and that is how the layout's going to look. And first I'm going to do some mixed media on my white card stock here. This is uh, Vicki Booten's foundation paper that I'm using. I love using her paper to do my mixed media on because it's hold up sturdy paper and it works out very, very well for me. And I'm also using gesso, clear gesso, to prep my paper also for any mixed media that I want to do on it. So I am using part of my Hip Kit Club kit. I got the color kit last month and this is called Naughty or Nice. It's a shimmer inks they're called and what it is is it's a creamy um, acrylic paint I guess but it's creamy and it's got a little bit of a shine to it and you have to add water to the little jar there and then you can um, paint with it. You could do it with the packaging technique which you see me doing right here but this um, color I really like. I this is the first time I've used it and it's super pretty <laughs> so I think I'm going to be using this quite a bit because I am very much a pink I love pink and I love purple so um I really like this color and it came out really super nice you can make it as light as you want or as dark as you want you see me I'm dabbing up with paper towel I usually do it this way whenever I add the packaging technique I use my paper towels to dab up the excess um, water to make it lighter and then this way if I want to make it darker I can go in again and make it a little bit darker but this is how I wanted it this light so um you can't really tell the shine to it on the actual um camera but it does have a shine to it and now I'm just going in and I'm just doing some splattering um to um give it that special effect in the background that I love splatters splatters are like such an awesome way to um dress up the back of your white card stock and I really enjoy um, doing splatters. So now what I'm doing is I am backing my photo with some of the papers that are in this collection and the photo is a really cute photo of my daughter and my son. Um, this was a couple years ago though and they I caught them um, laying down watching TV and my daughter fell asleep and her younger brother was on top of her just laying there watching TV and I just thought it was the cutest thing ever so we snapped back, took a picture and I am documenting it today because I've been wanting to do this for a while I just um, with Christmas and all that kind of stuff going on I didn't have a chance to scrapbook it but now I do so I decided to come in and use my hearts and this Valentine collection I thought would just be so fitting for this layout because they're so cute and they just love each other. So if you're new to my channel, um, these are my children that um, we adopted. I have five who we adopted and I have one biological son. And um, yeah, so now they're a little bit older though. This was a couple years ago, but they're still cute. And now what I'm doing is I'm putting my photo back up on my paper and I'm going to um, put my little uh, hearts that I die cut and I'm gonna kind of show you how they're gonna go I'm gonna have like three like this and then I'm gonna put some down at the bottom I'm gonna kind of go in a diagonal direction and I'm gonna have a couple on the side as well um, I thought it would be really cute to just do this type of a layout because it was just fitting because they were so cute together so um, and they just love each other so much and we've had them since they were babies so my son, we picked up right from the hospital. He was only four days old and my daughter was six months old when we got her. So they have been together for all of their lives, basically. So they're very close. Um, so yeah, so this is what I am doing. I thought this would be a cute layout and I really like these papers. They're super pretty um, and I like the gray on there as well, the dark gray. Um, with the pinks and the reds and the whites. I just think it gives it really super cute. And then, like I said, that Inklings that I use by Shimmers, 
super, super pretty color. So, um, and it's called Naughty or Naughty or Nice. So, um, super pretty. So now what I'm doing is I'm distressing the edges of these, um, hearts with my distress oxide. This is hickory smoke and just distressing them a little bit on the edges with it. And then I did back my photo with, um, I mean, I'm going to pop up my photo with some craft foam, um, that I got at Walmart. Um, it just gives your layout a little more dimension. I will also pop up some of my hearts as well. And some I will just leave flat just to give it that dimension. And now what I'm doing is I'm using some scotch glue because whenever you do any type of mixed media, you always want to use scotch glue because things will come up if you don't. Um, so at least the scotch glue, it helps it stick and stay adhered to the paper. So now what I'm doing is I am also scotch gluing my hearts down. These ones I'm going to leave flat. And then this one here, I'm going to pop up on a little bit of craft foam and just give them a couple. I just did a couple, um, gave them a little bit of dimension. And I like to do that with my layout. Some I'll lay flat, some I'll raise up. It just all depends on the layout. But this layout turned out super, super pretty. Now, last week, uh, if you watched my channel, I had stars I did. And I used a picture of my dog. And it was super cute um, doing the stars this way. So I thought, oh, it'd be really super neat to do the hearts too. So I decided to um, do a little bit of the hearts this time. And being close that it's so close to Valentine's Day, um, I thought this would be fitting. So, um, yes, while I'm doing this, though, I want to remind you all not to forget to check out the other ladies who are also in Punched Out Thursday to Buy For. We have a few um, new ladies joining us. Um, I also have a few ladies joining us on Fridays for Mixed Media Frenzy. So make sure you check out their channels to get some new inspiration from them. They are awesome, and they do a great job, and um, I love watching their um, layouts as well. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going through my stash and I have a lot of Valentine's decor because as you know, I have been doing some Valentine's um, crafts and I have brought that to my channel as well. Every Wednesday, I post a couple of my DIY Dollar Tree Valentine's Day decor. Um, I'm trying to use just Valentine, I mean, right now Valentine's. Um, decor pieces um, and make them from Dollar Tree items. Um, but I will be switching over to spring and Easter, whatever it may be. So make sure you check that out. I have it on every Wednesday on my channel. Just something new and different to bring to the channel. Um, give you a little mixture of things because I also love to craft besides scrapbooking. So that's a little something extra I'm going to be bringing. And I'm going to try and do it more than once a week eventually. But for now that I'm teaching homeschool, I have been doing it this way. So now what I'm doing is, like I said, I went through my stash and I found some of these clear um, heart stickers. I stuck a few of them on my hearts. They have like these little um, glitters on them and stuff and just kind of make them make the other hearts kind of pop out a little bit. So that's what I did there. And then I stuck a sticker, a couple of stickers on my photo, but I didn't want to do too much because I kind of wanted the photo to speak for itself because it is such an adorable photo of them that I just kind of wanted to make that the centerpiece. And sometimes I know being a scrapbooker, we can get away with, we just do too much on a layout and then it just kind of makes the picture kind of fade away in the background. And this I definitely wanted to bring out. So, um, cause it's just so adorable. So I decided to go in with some X and O's for hugs and kisses um, in black. And I used my um, stamps for that and my black archival ink. So that's the layout, y'all. I hope you like it. Really quick layout this week. Um, here are your close-ups. And like I said, check out the other ladies. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. Just remember to hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And I want to thank you guys for watching and remember, stay crafty. Bye.